Hey guys, it's your boy Climax, and today we're going to do a ultimate rebuild of the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now guys, we are going to do a rebuild of the Timberwolves because they just have been uh, great underachievers in the past couple of years. And I just feel like they deserve to have one, uh, to perform better for the great city of Minneapolis. Now, the Timberwolves do have a couple of young people that I could trade. We are going to go to staff here first. And we are going to get some new staff um, as our first thing in this rebuild. Now, guys, this is a ultimate rebuild, so it is going to be a three-year rebuild. Um, yeah, so we are going to get new staff there. And now we are going to look at players here. So we have Carl Anthony Towns, who goes up to a 93 overall power forward. So I think we're going to do that. We have Andrew Ruggins, uh, Shabazz Napier, Co Robert Covington, Jordan Bell, uh, Vonnell, Dang, Josh Okui, Culver, Layman, Crab, and some other guys. Now, uh, Crab has $18.5 million contract. Uh, Jake Layman not making a whole lot, but Dang is making a lot. And Covington is making a decent amount. And, of course, Andrew Wiggins and Carl Anthony Towns are making quite a bit of money. So we are going to see if we can trade Andrew Wiggins because he has just not panned out in Minnesota. And I, I have a feeling that most of the Minnesota fans would be uh, just fine seeing him leave. Now, the question is, who do we want to see replace him? See, we could get Chris Middleton here. He would be a very interesting option for us as an upgraded small forward. And there we go. So now we have Chris Middleton and Carl Anthony Towns leading the squad. Let's see. Do we have any money? Uh, no, we do have our mid-level exception, but we are not going to use that quite yet. Okay, so now we do have a starting small forward. So we can try to trade Robert Covington for a guard. Um... A guard would be nice because we don't have any point guard at all. We could trade for Derrick Rose, uh, Ricky Rubio, Dennis Schroeder. I don't think I want to trade everyone for Dennis Schroeder, though. So we're going to trade Robert Covington and Okui here. Uh, we could get Isaiah Thomas, Dennis Schroeder, Ricky Rubio, Derrick Rose. So guys, I think what we are going to do is we are going to do this dare for, we are going to do this trade for Derrick Rose, um, yeah, because he is an 84 overall point guard, so now he can start for us, so now we have Derrick Rose, Shabazz Napier, Chris Middleton, Carl Anthony Downs, and Dang, and then we have a bunch of power forwards and small forwards off the bench, so we are going to do some more trades there, we don't need that many. Uh, Jordan Bell is actually a guy that we want to keep. We want to trade Dang, though, with Culver. Hopefully, we can get a very good center here for them, like Hassan Whiteside. Uh, we could get Steven Adams, though. We could get Andre Drummond. Andre Drummond it is, because Andre Drummond plays very well in the sim. So, let's go here. And, yeah, we are getting Andre Drummond. And I don't care about that. And, yeah, guys. Now we have Andre Drummond. This team is looking very good. A lot better than what it was. That is for sure. Let's see here. We still have too many power forwards on the team. So that is because this Morris guy is a power forward. I don't know how. He should not be a power forward. Yeah. We still have uh, our bench is not very good at all. But we do have Alan Crabb here who we can trade away. Hopefully for someone decent. It's not looking like anyone because all these people ha are making a lot of money for their salary. So I do not think we are going to trade him. Let's see what we can get here. Basically the same trade. So we could get Kyle Anderson here. Would not be that bad. But he is a small forward and we do not need any more small forwards. So we could get Langston Galloway here. Both of those guys are on one-year deals. So that would not be horrible. So Langston Galloway and Tony Schnell. Uh, better shooting guard, hopefully. There we go. 
So yeah, our bench is not good at all. Uh, let's go to free agency here. And we still do not have money, so Collinson does not want to. We can get Fareed, though. And we do not have another spot. So that kind of stinks. But we have Kenneth Fareed now. Uh, we cannot trade these guys because we traded for them. But we do have some of these 20-year-old uh, players on the end of our bench that we could possibly trade away. Like we get Frank Jackson there. But I think we're just going to keep those guys. We are going to go to roster here. This is the team that we're going to be rocking with. Carlton Towns, Karst Middleton, and Andre Drummond with Derrick Rose and Shabazz Napier as our starting lineup. We are going to send these guys to the G League. Because hopefully they can actually get up and overall. And then, yeah, guys, I am going to sim until I can make some more trades. But, yeah, guys, um, before this happens, before I get too far into this rebuild, I would like to say, uh, if you do like this content, please like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the other videos on the channel. And, yeah, I got a lot more rebuilds to check out. So, I'm going to sim until I make another trade. And then, when I do make another trade, I will show you guys. All right, guys, we are going to do this trade. We're going to trade Shabazz Napier for Terrence Davis here. Now, I'm doing this because we are getting a lot younger here. And we are going to sure do that as well. I'm doing that because, yes, we are getting a lot younger with Taron Davis. And we do have another good backup power forward because Jordan Bell I'm going to trade. Um, Because he's going to be leaving he, I'm not going to re-sign him on the team because he is a free agent this year. So I probably won't get him back because we do not have bird rights on him. Yeah, uh, which kind of stinks, but that's that's the way she goes. Uh, what do we need, actually? So it would be nice to get a backup guard. Okay, Um. yeah. So Jordan Bell and Langston Galloway with... Can we, okay, with a second round pick, let's see if we can get a backup guard here, OG Ananobli, Robert Covington, TJ Leaf, Montez Morris, Jalen Brunson would be nice, I think, oh, Buddy Heald, Buddy Heald I think is the one, Buddy Heald will be a nice addition to the starting lineup actually. Uh, we do get Ed Davis there, but that is okay. We do two first round picks and or two second round picks, and then we get Buddy Heald. So, you guys, here is the starting lineup: Derek Rose, Buddy Heald, Chris Middleton, Carl Anthony Towns, and Andre Drummond is our starting lineup that we are using with Terrence Davis, Chris Boucher, Kenneth Fareed, Tyreek Evans, and Danny Melton off the bench. Yeah, guys, this team has been playing very well. Hopefully, we can continue this play uh, throughout the year, and then hopefully we can. You know, maybe dabble in some playoff wins. But we will see. Yeah, guys, I'm going to sim to the end of the year, and we will see how we finish. All right, guys, the, we finished year one. Here are the awards. LeBron James won most valuable. John Morant, rookie. Dennis Schroeder, sixth man, 25 points off the bench. Anthony Davis won defense player of the year. Bam Adebayo, most improved. And Michael Staffer, Staffer, whatever, won coach of the year. <clears throat> Our team. Yeah, he was he was, he was our coach. We went 64 and 18. Heck yeah, we did. The Minnesota Timberwolves in year one of this three-year rebuild went 64 and 18, guys. We are gonna see if Oh Carl Anthony Towns made NBA second team and Chris Middleton made All NBA third team with Andre Drummond making All Defensive second team for us, guys. This was a very good year for the Minnesota Timberwolves. We are obviously the one seed in the East. In the, <laughs> I just combined East and West. No, in the West, we are the one seed. Chris Middleton led us with 20 points, uh, 19, 10, 5, a half, and 1 for Carl Anthony Towns, 17 and 5 for Derrick Rose, so good for him, 15, 13, 1 and a half, and 2 from Andre Drummond, 15 from Buddy Heald, 10 and 6 off the bench there, 9 for Evans, uh, Carroll got 8. Kenneth three we got eight and seven, good, uh, and seven in three and three from Melton. 
So this is good to see. Davis got seven. Yeah, we have some interesting players on this squad. Our bench is looking pretty good. Our starters are looking very good. I'll, I mean, our Terrence Davis is out four to six weeks. Not the biggest issue in the world. Buddy Heald will just have to take up all the shooting guard minutes. But we are simming the first round. We should have no problem with the OKC Thunder. Good for them for making the playoffs, but they just are not the same caliber team as us as we obviously sweep them. Uh, it looks like we are up against the LA Clippers here. Um, nothing really exciting happened, I guess. Yeah, nothing on either side here. We are going to simulate the round since this is year one. Oh, we lose game one. We lose game two. We are going to go to the coaching staff here. We are just going to do a nine-man rotation there. And here is what we are going to be using. Yes. Yes, sir. We are going to be using that rotation. Let's see if we can win game, what is this, three? We have a big third quarter that takes us, and we do win game three. Okay, guys, we need to win this one to bring it back to a 2-2 two -two series. It does not look like we are. We do beat them in the third, but that is about it. We are down a 3-1 now. Um, not really expecting much. Ooh, 3-2, three 3-2, two. Three two. come on now, come on. Okay, here we go, boys. Here we go. Game six. We we need to win. We need to win. And we have a huge third, 44 points in the third quarter as we win. And we take the Clippers to a game seven. Guys, here we go. We win quarter one. We win. Oh, they win quarter two. We win quarter three. Oh, and, and we beat the LA Clippers. We sweep. We destroy them in the fourth. Behind Derrick Rose is 25. This is amazing. We are in the Western Conference Finals against the LA Lakers. Now, LeBron James-led team is always scary in the playoffs, especially with Anthony Davis. And since he was the uh, Defensive Player of the Year, this will be a very hard matchup. But we beat them by 17 points in the second, 15 points in the third, and then we almost blow it in the fourth. But we get the dub behind Buddy Heald, Chris Middleton, Derrick Rose, Carl Anthony Towns all scored over 20. Carl Anthony Towns had a triple-double. Anthony Davis had 46 points, though, but that doesn't matter since we took Game 1. Now Game 2 in Minneapolis. You know, hopefully the cold is getting to these L.A. guys, but they win Game 2. Here we go, Game 3. We need this game. Oh, we need this game big, and we do get it. Behind Buddy Heald's 21. Good to see Carl Anthony Towns, 19, 8, and 6. Chris Middleton actually had 12 assists there. Good to see. Andre Drummond is just just not doing anything. Anthony Davis must just be owning him. But they're up 2-1 against the LA Lakers. They win quarter one. They win quarter two. They win quarter three. And they are going to take this game easily. And the series is tied 2-2, two two, guys. This is very exciting. We are in the Western Conference Finals in year one. The Minnesota Timberwolves are actually playing pretty well in the playoffs. I did not suspect us to win against the Clippers, actually. But now we are down 3-2 to the Lakers. I mean, I'm not going to be too upset if we do lose here. And we do. We made it a close game, though. Carlton Towns got hurt. And the Lakers made it to the NBA Finals against the Milwaukee Bucks. And they beat the Milwaukee Bucks. by LeBron James, there is your MVP. Okay, guys, that was year one. I am going to go into the offseason. I am going to maybe trade up in the draft. I am going to see what I do. But once I do something, I will definitely remember to show you guys. All right, guys, we worked our magic, and we got the sixth overall pick, and uh, they want to give us LaMelo Ball, so we are just going to go thank you to K-Sim because that uh, he was drafted second overall, and we got him by trading the sixth overall pick, so we are going to say thank you to them, and we're going to get LaMelo Ball on the squad. Now, he declined. We're going to accept him. So our main goal here now is, yes, we're going to offer all of those guys, or at least these two, their qualifying deals. Hopefully they will accept those because we are going to be strapped for cash like we always are. And then we're going to go to Andre Drummond here, and we are just going to offer him that deal there. It looks like we are the number one team on his list. Now, I do not believe... We have bird rights on anyone else? No, we do not. So, um, let's see here. We have power forward. 
Jamal Ford, uh, point guard, shooting guard, point guard, shooting guard, power forward. Yeah, that's about it. Okay, so we need some backups here. We need a backup center. Um, let's see here. Anyone want a cheap deal? Uh, he wants a cheap deal for some reason. May only be re-signed to his current value. Ah, okay. That's kind of that looks kind of weird and fishy, but too bad we could not pick him up. Oh, we could pick Joaquin Noah up. Damien. Okay, let's just pick up Um. Let's do Jan Muhini, maybe? No, let's pick up this guy as our backup uh, center. We do have a power forward. Do we need a small forward? Probably. Let's go up a little bit. Um, Tyreek Evans, just get him back on the squad, hopefully. Uh, we are not going to re we're going to resign him. Him. Uh, Kenneth Reed, cap hold. Cap hold. Yeah, cap hold there. Gonna not resign him. Uh, renounce rights there. Cap hold, and we are good to go, guys. I believe those are the only moves I am going to make in free agency. So I will see you guys probably at the beginning of the year. All right, guys, I think we're going to do this trade. We are going to get uh, trade Buddy Heal, the first round pick, a second round pick, uh, this Mutu guy, and Chris Middleton for D'Angelo Russell and Clay Thompson. Now, Clay Thompson is older than Chris Middleton, but he is kind of the same player. We move him to small forward, so we're losing like two overalls there. But we do have D'Angelo Russell, who goes up to an 89 overall shooting guard. And then we can, what we are going to do is we're going to start LaMelo Ball, and we're going to have Derrick Rose come off the bench for us, getting 26 minutes there. We did sign uh, Billy Hernan Gomez, uh, a free agent, and Tyreek Evans is going to get 8 minutes there. We are going to give 30 to, uh, 28 to our rookie, 29 there and 32 there that is looking good our lineup is looking good now our bench is filled with a bunch of old guys but that is a-okay uh we could get see if we could get someone like chris nope okay um this allen guy could we get him nope okay those guys want too much money jj barrera is too old pat connington uh, declines that okay uh, I don't think we're gonna get anyone else on the squad at least from free agency there that would be worth getting okay guys here is the lineup we do have I switched what I wanted oh, dang it okay uh, we are going to move what we did around here 12 and 8 and then we're gonna give Lamella ball 28 right 29 and 32 there okay guys our starting lineup for year two of this rebuild is a mellow ball d'angelo russell clay thompson carl antonowns andre drummond Derek rose uh terrence davis billy hernan gomez chris brochure and tyreek evans now guys i am going to sim until uh something interesting happens so that will probably be at the trade deadline or if we're playing very well at the end of the year and i will see you guys then all right, guys, I think we're going to do this trade uh, for Bradley Beal here. We did trade Clay Thompson, so we are hoping that Bradley Beal goes up a one overall to small four there. So now we do have Bradley Beal. Um, as sad news is Carl Anthony Towns did get hurt. So we are going to have to look elsewhere for power forward stats in performance but lucky for us that we do have a pretty good team around him that we don't shouldn't have to worry too much about it uh carl Towns is out for the year with a ruptured left achilles so that is i mean that's horrible that's not what you want to see but our team is still um okay and we should be able to at least make the playoffs and do a decent run without him but it is sad that he is out for the season. So we will have to look at year three to be our year. So I'm probably not going to do much else here just because, I mean, it's hard with your best player basically hurt to think that you're going to win the championship. So, yes, I'm probably going to sim to the end of the year. And, 
yeah, we will hopefully call into towns and everyone will stay healthy for year three because that is the year that we are going to go all the way. All right, guys, we are going to do this trade. Derek Rose for Wendell Carter Jr. And now we're going to do that because I'm hoping to goodness sakes that there we go. And we do have bird rights on Wendell Carter Jr. So we will be able to retain him for next year. Um, yeah, and he, he goes up to an 87 overall power forward, and so he is going to replace Carl Anthony Town minutes, and then we had LaMelo Ball at point guard anyways to take over that role. Uh, Derrick Rose did provide us a lot off the bench, but we are, I mean, we're just going to have to deal with what, we're just going to have to deal with life with, uh, life without Derrick Rose. Now we do have a lot of pots here. Uh, we are going to see if we can trade Chris Brochur here for probably, let's see here, who do we need? Uh, point guard would not hurt. Uh, to, an Antetokounmpo brother would not hurt at all because he probably will develop shooting guard. Um, another shooting guard, a point guard would not hurt. Wanamaker, um, let's see here, Dragon Bender in a first overall pick, yeah, so we just need, uh, guards, so we are gonna trade brochure here with him, and we are gonna see who, what guards are basically the best for us, we could get Melton, and a first, we could get Guy, who is a 76 overall. He's a younger player, too. We could do this trade. Gives us a backup point guard and shooting guard. But uh, Sean Livingston is not the guy that we want. We could do bad Macklemore. Um, this guy looks pretty good at 23 years old. Yeah, I think we're going to do that 23-year-old. And the Suns, although that guy is only 21. So yeah, let's do this uh, Toronto Raptor guy. We're going to send Chris Brochure, Brochure back for that guy who is only 21. And he will come off the bench for us. We do have too many point guards, but uh, power forwards. But guys, this is the team for the rest of year two. LaMelo Ball, D'Angelo Russell, Bradley Beal, Wendell Carter Jr., and Andre Drummond with... Billy Hernan Gomez, Taj Gibson, Jalen Noel, Darren Collinson, and Jonas. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. Th our bench is not good at all. We're not going to be able to make any offense off the bench. But hopefully, our starters will carry us, and the mellow ball will uh, develop very nicely now with Derrick Rose. Without Derrick Rose taking his minutes. So, guys, I'm going to send him to the end of the year, and hopefully, we play. We finish the year off strong. Alright guys, here are the awards for year two. Uh, Giannis, Antetokounmpo, James Wiseman won Rookie of the Year. DeMarcus Cousins won Sixth Man of the Year coming off the bench there. Kawhi Leonard defense, Kristaps Porzingis most improved. That is very good to see. Him and Luka Doncic will have a very good duo. Mike Boldenhauser and won Coach of the Year and his team went 64 and 18. Guys, we did not compete as good as we wanted to. Uh, we definitely had a worse year this year. No Timberwolves. Uh, Lamella Ball did make all rookie first team here. Career, uh, he averaged 13 points, four rebounds, and seven assists with 1.4 steals, and pretty dang good shooting percentage. So we did finish second in the West. We are up against the Golden State Warriors. Here are the team stats: Bradley Beal led us with 22, D'Angelo Russell 22 as well. Carl Anthony Towns is out for the season, but he had 20 and 10. Lamella Ball, 13. We already went over his stats. Andre Drummond is out one to two weeks. He averaged 12, 13, uh, one and a half, and one and a half. Wendell Carter Jr. is out for the season. What the heck? What in the heck? This is why we finished the season horribly because our front court is not good at all. Let's go to a nine man rotation here. Oof. Look at this. Look at this, three 85-plus overall big men out. How are we supposed to compete? Like, I would not be surprised if the Golden State Warriors beat us in this round. With three three of those 
front court guys out are we're just yeah no three huge injuries just can't just can't overcome it i i get it it's not expecting anything we lose in the first round a little disappointing but we still have one year left of this minnesota timberwolves rebuild guys please stick around and we will see if we can finally stay healthy so we actually can compete at the level i know we can compete at with this talent on the team and win this championship all right, guys, we are going to do this trade for Cameron Reddish. Now, we are going to do this because I think he has a better ceiling, and we needed a uh, backup small forward because our small forward game is not very strong at all. Now, we do have a lot of these guys, at the, but we do not want them to get minutes at all. Uh, we do need a backup point guard, so that is where... Probably Patrick Mills will come in. Nope, we need someone who wants less money than that. Um, Marker Michael Carter Williams. Let's see here. Caden Allen. Yes, you are going to be our backup point guard. And then let's go to shooting guard. Uh, it's funny how none of these guys actually got signed. Reggie Bullock probably wants too much money, yes. Okay, we are going to need someone like Pat Connington or Matt Thomas. Okay, he does not want it, but Pat Connington, he will. Okay, here we are now. It is looking like a pretty solid team. We can move Jeremy Lin to shooting guard, actually. We can move one of those guys to shooting guards. Jeremy Lin is the taller of the two. Okay, guys, so here we have our year three starting lineup. We have LaMelo Ball, D'Angelo Russell, Bradley Beal, Carl Anthony Towns, Andre Drummond, and Wendell Carter Jr. off the bench with Alex Len, Cam Reddish, Jeremy Lin, and uh, Kadeen Allen. Okay, guys, this is our team. We are looking pretty good. And, yeah, I'm going to sim until either the end of the year or I make another trade hopefully I will not have to make another trade because this team is stacked but we will see um, hopefully everyone stays healthy and yeah this is the year three in the final year build year of this uh, Minnesota Timberwolves rebuild alright guys we are gonna do this trade here we're gonna trade Cam Reddish, Pat Connington and Kadeem Allen for Mitchell Robinson and Bruce Brown now we're gonna do this and we are going to move some players around like we always do. Mitchell Robertson goes up to an 92 overall power forward. Holy crap. Oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, and then we are going to trade uh, Wendell Carter Jr. here for a small forward, probably. Or whoever is really offered here. Kobe White would be interesting. Colin Sexton. Uh, I would like a small forward though. I don't see any good small forwards offered up here. Jared Allen is not a small forward. Um, let's see here. I don't think there's going to be anyone. Okay. Um... So we might have a slight issue here. He goes down to 83 overall. Okay. So what we are going to do is we are going to trade him. But we are going to go to player finder here. We are going to go to shooting guard small fort. And we are going to look for someone who we could trade him for. And that could move to small forward for us. And preferably not making a lot of money because we don't have a lot to give out. I mean, we could try to get Shy Gilgis here. Uh, they do not want to do that trade. So we will have to see if we can work our trade magic out here. Ooh, that guy has... That guy has lots of stars. Okay, let's see if we can get someone a little better... <laughs> Now that that guy has so many stars, <laughs> Luka, could we trade for Luka Doncic? No, we could not. Uh, could we trade for Zach Levine, though? That is the question. Mm, I doubt it. 
because Zach Levine is making a lot of money. So, yeah, I believe that Shy Gilgis Alexander is the guy that we are going to trade for. And I know this seems like we're giving up a lot of stars for him. But, you know, it's probably not even going to look... They're probably not even going to accept it because that's what this computer does. And they don't accept trades like this. Um, Yeah, no, Alex Land for now. Okay, um, this is weird. But we are going to do that trade and then we are going to move Shy Gilgis Alexander to Pa Small Forward. He goes up to 89 overall, guys. Okay, so now we have Lamelo Ball who is on fire. But let's see who we could trade LaMelo Ball for. If we could trade him for like a 87 overall point guard. But I don't believe there are any point guards that are that high and are making a load of money. Okay guys, here is the squad now. Uh, Bradley Beal is hurt so he will be back. But we do not have a backup point guard we do have a bunch of backup shooting guards but we do not want all of those so we are going to trade Jeremy Lin here uh, just for a point guard basically the best point guard that is available um, Sean Livingston I don't really want Sean Livingston because he's just not very good um yeah, Sean Livingston is not the guy we want as our backup point guard. But he might just be the guy that we are going to take. Or we could just move Jeremy Lin back to point guard. I suppose that would not be the worst thing in the world. Um, Yeah, guys, I think that is what we are going to do. We are going to move Jeremy Lin back to point guard here. As he goes down to a 76 overall. Okay, guys, here is the squad. We have Lamella Ball, D'Angelo Russell, Shy Gilch Alexander, Carl Anthony Towns, Andre Drummond, with Mitchell Robertson off the bench, Nerlens Noel, uh, Bruce Brown, Jeremy Lin, and Ludwig Dortz, with Bradley Beal injured, who will come back. So, guys, this roster is absolutely stacked. We have. Just a ton of very talented players, and I'm going to sim to the end of the year, and hopefully, guys, we are top seed in the West. We should be. Uh, we are on pace to be top seed in the West right now, but hopefully our guys can just build that team chemistry, and we can actually win. Uh, hopefully, we all stay healthy, and we actually win a championship this year. All right, guys, here are the awards for the third and final year of this rebuild. Uh, Mike Boldenhauser won Coach of the Year 57 in 25. If you look at your bottom right, we went 56 and 26. So a good year from us. Um, not as good as our other year, but it was respectable. D'Angelo Russell made all NBA third team. Uh, Mitchell Robinson and Andre Drummond made all defensive team. And yeah, those were the rookies. Don't really matter. We are first seed in the West. So that is good to see. And another good thing to see is that LaMelo Ball is the only injured guy, even though we have no point guards on this team. But that's okay. Everyone else is basically a stud. <laughs> so we almost have 290 overall players coming off our bench. Holy crap. Okay, uh, we are going to go to season stats here. We're going to look... Uh, D'Angelo Russell led us with 22 and a half and eight assists, 19 from Bradley Be Bradley Beal, 16, four and five from Shea Gilgis Alexander, 16, eight, one and one from Carly Towns, 16 and eight from Lamelo Ball, 10 of in one and a half and one and a half from Andre Drummond. Mitchell Robinson averaged 10, about 10, uh, one steal and one and a half blocks as well. Jeremy Lin, eight and two off the bench. Seven, uh, Samuel, six and six. Yeah, everyone else was decent in their role, guys. Okay, we are facing the Golden State Warriors. We should have absolutely no issue against them as we lose game one. We win game two. We lose game three. We win game four. We lose game... F okay, we win games... Oh my gosh. Holy crap, holy crap. 
I was going to say, if this team with 490 overalls and 89 and 88 overall and LaMelo Ball at shooting guard cannot win, I I don't know who can. Like, this team is stacked. Like, stacked to the core. And we are facing the San Antonio Spurs, who beat the Nuggets in five. So obviously they're a good team, but we won the first two games. They win the next two games, though. Oh, we win game five, and we win game six to beat the Spurs in six. Okay, guys, now can we beat the Houston Rockets? That is the question. We are in Minnesota, but it looks like they are going to take game one as we almost bring back and um, take the game there from them. Here is the lineup in the minutes as we go. We are not going to give Jeremy Lin any minutes off the bench just because... I mean, this is deep in the playoffs now. Only good player, only our best players are going to play as we beat them in all four quarters. And we beat them by 41, 2, 3, 4, 5. Five guys over 20 points. Five guys over 20 points. Holy crap. Five players over 20 points, guys. That is unheard of. That is unheard of as we lose game three we are down two to one against this houston rockets team come on timberwolves you can do it don't have as we beat them to tie the series up two two we are going to game five in minneapolis here we go houston rockets take a 14 point lead and they win quarter two and they win quarter three and they win quarter four and we are now down a lot of points we are down, not a lot of points, we are down in the series. The Boston Celtics were the 8th seed, and they made the championship, and we win quarter two, we lose, oh, and we come back, and we win. Oh, we win. D'Angelo Russell bringing us, we win game six to force a game seven in Minnesota. Here we go, they win quarter one, they win quarter two. Can we pull it back in quarter three? And it looks like we did lose, guys. We lost. To James Harden, the infamous chokers in the playoffs. We lost to them. How? Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. This was the ultimate rebuild of the Minnesota Timberwolves, guys. We ended up with 490 overall guy, 90 overall players. We ended up and a an 89 overall player off the bench in Shea Gilch Alexander, and an 88 overall player in Andre Drummond with Lamelo Ball, Nolan Snowell, Bruce Brown, and Jeremy Lin as the other minutes. So our end of the bench was not the best, but our our top seven players were amazing. This team definitely should win, have won a championship, guys. This has been Climax's version of the ultimate rebuild of the Minnesota Timberwolves. If you guys do like, please comment, like, and subscribe. Check out the other videos on the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And guys, thank you for watching. Peace.